Welcome to the second chapter of the Contemporary Architecture course. In this chapter, we will be speaking about tectonic technology and structure. We will see some theoretical ideas, as for example, the interpretation of uh, Kenneth Frampton of the theories of Gottfried Semper, as well as some examples of work in which these concepts are applied. The idea of tectonic, uh, the person who formulated it is the German architect and theorist uh, Gottfried Semper. He defined a building as made out of four parts. The first one being the fire or also the social space of uh, the building. The second one is the base or the stereotomic part of the building. The third part is the structure and the roof of the building. And the fourth part is the enclosure or so-called membrane of the building, which according to him had textile origin and involved, evolved around the building. He formulated these ideas after seeing a reproduction of a Caribbean hut at the 1851 exhibition at the Crystal Palace in London. Afterwards, he wrote a book about uh, his uh, theories about tectonic origin of architecture. We'll see how uh, this is different, this approach, the tectonic approach of architecture is different than the stereotomic approach. The tectonic approach reveals how a building is made. It reveals the structure, the joints, the details, and how the building is being put together. The stereotomic origin of architecture or approach is completely different. In stereotomic architecture, the building is, is covered and uh, around, and we don't see what it is made out of. Usually, the materials used for it are brick or stone. Many buildings are made out of the base, as for example here, the Seagram building in uh, New York, or the Barcelona Pavilion by Mies van der Rohe. Then we have a clear expression of the structure and the roof that's above it, which protects us from the rain, and then the enclosure or uh, the walls or textile or fabric or even skins in some uh, primitive architecture. Those three elements of architecture protect and define the interior space, which is the fire around which the family can meet. The three architects which we'll see in this uh, chapter are Renzo Piano first. By him we'll see the Morgan Library uh, renovation here in New York City in which he inserted a new building in the historical context of the three 19th century buildings. We'll see afterwards the work of um, Richard Rogers and his Barajas Airport in Madrid in which he clearly expresses the structure and defines a very unique um, roof and base unit of the airport which later reproduces into the entire, into the entire building. And last, we'll see the work of Norman Foster and his tower here in New York City, the Hearst Tower, where his uh, New York office is uh, currently based. With these examples, I hope you understand this very important concept, which would guide you towards understanding other projects, which you may find in your own context, place where you live, or you can find online into uh, some uh, other projects.